Mr. Williams, thank you for doing this interview. Well, thank you. It's an honor to be here with you today. It's our pleasure having you. Um, I'm going to begin with something which, a question which you may not be able to answer because I think you were too young. <laughs> when the Brown decision occurred, did you have any family discussion or any, hear any people talking about it? Well, I was very young when the Brown decision was discussed. And, and also, because I grew up in Chicago, it wasn't something that was front and center, I think, with my family for quite some time. But as I got older, and uh, as I understood what my mother was doing to make sure that I had a quality education in Chicago, then I started reading and learning more, more and more about Brown, how important it was to our country. Uh, my mother was, was an incredible individual. She was determined that I was going to get the best education that the Chicago public school system could offer. So I went to seven elementary schools in really? Chicago. Seven? Seven. Starting out in a Catholic school, then moving to public school. And every time she thought a school wasn't performing up to her standards, she would move me to another school. Hmm. So I had to memorize a lot of different addresses and a lot of different reasons for moving <laughs> around could, the city. That couldn't have been an easy process to move a child from school A to school B. It was difficult. Yeah. And I was always uh, introducing myself to new classmates. I always had to prove myself on the, on the playground. Mm -hmm. And I was pretty skinny in those days, so it was always a tough uphill battle. <laughs> but you survived. I survived. And, but I also, my mother, I, I'm so grateful to her because she was determined. Mm -hmm. When she heard that there was a new school being built that had a, new teachers and it really had a great curriculum, she said, we're moving to that neighborhood. At so least you, theoretically. Yes, yeah, so she would have to move the family. No, she didn't move. We just came up with theoretical ways for me to go to that school. <laughs> <laughs> how did you work that out? Because it had to be address-based. It was address-based. So we would find someone that we knew in the neighborhood, mm. and then that would become my address. I would just go and leave. Uh, so you had to remember, I don't live here, That's I now right. live here. That's right. Boy. It was something between my mother and I. That was our compact.